There's a lot to do to get ready for a cruise. In fact, the last seven days before a cruise are crucial. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, previously I made a video all about the things to do in the last 30 days before your cruise. I am going to leave that video at the end of this one. But in today's video, what I wanted to do is really go over the things that are pretty crucial because they need to be done within about the last week or so. And I have to tell you, I'm going on a cruise in exactly seven days and I am on a mission to be super organized for this one. So I have my list ready and I'm just checking those things off. Now I made a series of videos about this topic about two years ago, but as you know, a lot of things have changed. So I thought it was time for an update. Now, before I get started, I did want to mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Okay, so I have this video divided up into two sections. First, we're gonna talk about the things that need to be done within those seven days. And then I have a little part where we're going to talk about the specific things that you'll want to do the day before you travel. Number one, get your travel documents in order. Now you could have been getting your travel documents in order and collecting them over even a couple of months. But at this point, seven days before, this is the time that you'll want to print out your cruise boarding pass and all of your luggage tags. And as a matter of fact, as I just printed out my own boarding documents from Holland America, they actually recommended to only print them out at seven days before. I can only assume that this is perhaps that something can change, including if you bid for an upgrade of a cabin. Now it's really important to make sure that you've also done your online check-in. I really do recommend to do that about 30 days before, especially in some cases, if you're traveling internationally or even not internationally, you wanna make sure that you really know exactly what you need in terms of travel documentation, even if you might need a visa. Number two, prepare your passport and any other required identification. Now it's a good idea to keep everything together. I like to use a passport passport wallet and this way I can just keep everything in my handbag so I have my new passports here and this is a good place that you can keep visas and any other travel documentation that you are going to need. Now by the way a little extra tip and hopefully you're watching this video way before seven days before your cruise but do make sure that your passport is still valid so check that expiry date. In many cases you're actually going to need to have an additional six months on your passport if you're traveling for it to be valid for certain countries. So do check on that way ahead of time. Print and or organize all of your travel reservations. Now you can print them out. I like to do that, I'm a little bit old school, but I also organize all of my travel reservations in my phone, in my emails, just in case. You never know when Wi-Fi is not working, so it is a good idea to have things printed, but you want your hotel reservations. You wanna have even your shore excursions that you've made, and if you have your booking and it includes onboard credits or even things that you've purchased, then what you'll wanna do is make sure that you have that printed as well. It's always good to have a proof of purchase. Travel insurance. Now, of course, make sure that you have travel insurance when you are going on a cruise, but as well, what you'll wanna do is print out your travel insurance number, your documentation, or otherwise what you can do is just make sure that you at least have that in an accessible email. Now, at about seven days before your cruise, if you have not done it already, take a look at the cruise planner on the Cruise Lines website maybe reconsider some excursions that you didn't book yet, or perhaps take a look at some of the spa reservations that you can do. Oftentimes they are going to be 10 to 20% and sometimes even less. They are going to be cheaper if you purchase them ahead of time before you get on board your cruise. Make dining reservations. Now you may wanna go with the flow and not have any reservations. And if you wanna do that, that's okay. But if you really do wanna dine at certain restaurants or perhaps you're celebrating something, you can actually note that on your reservation or on your cruise planner. So that is something that you'll wanna do. And I do have a little bit of a tip. If you book at a specialty dining restaurant and maybe by the time you take a look, there aren't as many times available as you would like. Book a time, even if it's not your preference, but then when you do get on the cruise ship, go and see the mater d' during the cruise. And sometimes there are cancellations and they can move you. 
And if you've already booked, you're likely to have priority. Have a packing list for your cruise and follow it. Honestly, if you don't do this, you are likely to forget something, potentially something important. You don't want that to happen. So have a packing list for your clothing. And what I like to do these days is I actually plan out my outfits. I think about what I probably will want to wear on certain days of the cruise based on the itinerary and the ports of call and what I might be doing. And then I also think about the evening times. If there is a formal or a dressy night, I wanna bring something that's a little more dressy. I know other nights I'm gonna to wanna to be a little bit more casual and some days in between. So I don't stick to it 100%, but that does really help to stay organized and not to overpack too much. Now you'll also wanna have a list of any travel essentials that you'll need, toiletries, makeup, and shoes. Be sure to know what you can and cannot bring on a cruise. So do not bring any items that are prohibited, leave them at home, they are likely to be confiscated and they'll only take up room in your luggage. Prepare your medications. So make sure that you do refill your medications. And as well, it's also a good idea to bring a list of your medications, including your dosages, and even the times that you take that medication. Just in case there is a medical emergency, that is something that the cruise line would need. Now, the other thing to do, I know people do ask, do I need to bring my medication in the original containers? I don't think there's an absolute rule about this, but I did notice for my upcoming cruise that the cruise line did recommend it. Now, don't forget to pick up your over-the-counter medication, even things like cold medication, throat lozenges, pain relief. These are not things that you want to have to go to the ship's doctor for. It will actually cost you money. So don't bother doing that. And it can be hard to get these items when you are on board the cruise ship. So bring these items with you. And the other thing as well is bring a little bit of basic first aid items, just even some band-aids and some alcohol wipes and a basic disinfectant for any wounds. That's something good to bring. By the way, if you're going on a cruise and you are trying to keep organized and make sure that you do not forget a thing, I do have the Life While Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now the Life While Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that will help you to stay organized with cruise packing lists, cruise outfit forms, shore excursion planning forms, and more. And I did include a pre-cruise checklist planning form so that you can actually fill in the things that you personally need to do before your cruise and you can check that off as you go. Now, something that I did is I actually bound this at my local copy center, but you can definitely print out just the pages that you need for as many cruises that you go on. Now, I will leave all of the information about the Life While Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down below in the description of this video in case you do wanna check it out. Purchase or prepare any travel size toiletries. Now you may want to buy those travel size bottles that are ready at the dollar store or even at Walmart or Target, or you may want to use your own favorite products and bring little refillable bottles that you could use during your cruise and travel. Travel money. Now, if you are going on an international trip, make sure that you take out foreign currency from your bank. Now, sometimes you need to order this. So you wanna give them a couple of days notice. We actually needed to do that for our Mediterranean cruise. But otherwise, you still wanna prepare some money, some actual cash before you go on your cruise. Now, oftentimes US dollars are really handy for many places, in particular for the Caribbean, the Bahamas, Bermuda. In those cases, what you'll wanna do is have even some small bills handy. So some ones, some fives, some tens, some twenties. Those are really going to be handy for tips and small purchases. Make your self-care appointments. This is something that I never see on any of those travel lists, but it really is something that many of us do think about. So don't forget, plan your manicures, pedicures, hair appointments, barber appointments, any of that stuff, plan to do that before your cruise, make those appointments. Check the weather. Now, if you are going to Alaska, if you are doing a Canada, New England cruise, even if you're going to the Mediterranean, even the Caribbean, you do wanna kind of get an idea, what is the temperature supposed to be? Is it going to rain? You wanna be prepared for the weather. And in any case, I do always suggest bring a light sweater or a hoodie um, or even a light jacket or a poncho because oftentimes, while many itineraries can have a little bit cool weather even in the evening, can rain even once, and it is a good idea to be prepared. Notify your post office and put your mail on hold or have a friend collect your mail. 
pay any bills that are due and even any bills that are going to be due. You don't really want to be traveling and going on bank apps, especially if you are on any public Wi-Fi. Check with your phone carrier for an international phone plan. Now, if you plan to use your phone when you're in ports, it is a good idea to check on what kind of plan you have or what kind of plan you can get on so that it is the most affordable for you. Now, I do have a little bit of a warning. If you do plan on using your international plan and you think that you're going to use it on the cruise ship, you really do have to be quite careful. There are many people that end up with really big bills at the end of your cruise. The safest bet is to use the cruise ship Wi-Fi. Now, the last week before your cruise is going to be quite busy but something that you'll wanna save at least a few hours for is prepare your home for when you do return. So you'll wanna clean out your fridge, clean your home, make sure the laundry is done, make sure your sheets are washed and clean. And if you can, it's even a good idea to cook one meal, put it in the freezer, or even buy a meal and put it in the freezer for when you get home from your trip that you don't have to wonder what are you going to do for food and cook or even have takeout because sometimes after a cruise, we actually crave a home cooked meal. Make copies of your passport and keep them in a different spot from your passport. And something else that you might wanna do is even take a photo of your passport as well. So you can keep that right on your phone and you may even want to send an email to yourself and a friend just in case the worst ever happened and you lost your passport. Notify your emergency contacts. It's a good idea to share your itinerary. Just email that over to a friend or a loved one as well as your emergency contact information. Now, if you do have house sitters, pet sitters, babysitters, make sure that they have emergency contact information for doctors, for plumbers, for the alarm company as well. Prepare and pack your carry-on bag essentials and your personal bag. Now, if you're flying, you're going to wanna to make sure that you have some of the things that you really need for your flight. Even something like gum, you want to make sure that you do not forget that. So have that ready. Now, also in your carry-on bag, make sure that you have a change of clothes. Make sure that you have a couple of pairs of underwear, a couple of extra pairs of socks, just in case, and of course, any of your valuables. Now, don't forget to pack your medication in your carry-on bag, any personal toiletries, and any liquids packed in a TSA-approved clear bag. Okay, this is the best day, the day before you travel. So firstly, you wanna get to the office if you are at the office and you wanna put that out of office email, what you wanna set that up. Do your online check-in for your flights and if you haven't already chosen your seats, do that as well. Now, when it comes to flights, you really wanna allow yourself enough time at the airport. The recommendation is to go at least two hours ahead of time for any domestic flights and three hours ahead of time for any international flights. Make your transportation arrangements to the airport or to the cruise port. Now, if you're going to the airport, order your taxi or your Uber the day before, or if somebody else is driving you, make those arrangements way in advance, but confirm the day before. Now, something super important, but I think is often forgotten, is download any books that you wanna have, download any videos that you wanna watch either on the flight or on the cruise. And did you know that you could even download YouTube videos? So that is a good idea. Download them all onto your device when you are on Wi-Fi at home. Also the day before, charge all of your electronics. You wanna make sure that they are all 100% charged and don't forget to make sure that your portable chargers are charged as well. Download the Cruise Line app from home while you have Wi-Fi. Do not wait until you're on board the cruise ship to do this. By the way, if you are having any issues with the Cruise Line app, sometimes it does happen that it really only begins to work well once you're on the cruise ship. But don't worry, once you are on the cruise, if you do have any issues, the crew will be happy to help you out. Final packing. Now, hopefully during the week, you have been packing your luggage and your carry-on, but the day before it is the final packing, make sure that you do go through that checklist that you have everything that you need. And when it comes to your carry-on bag, make sure that you've organized that as well so that you have easy access to any of the items that you're going to need to take out as you do go through security, either at the airport or at the cruise embarkation port. Empty your wallet. Now, of course, you still wanna make sure you have money with you. You wanna have your credit cards or any of the essential cards that you need, but empty out your wallet if you have some old receipts that you don't need. If you have some loyalty cards or maybe you have a Costco card or anything like that, leave those at home in a safe place so you don't travel with a bulky wallet. 
Now, if you do a little bit every day, then it won't all be left to the last minute. And then you can actually do what you'll want to do, which is get some rest the night before you travel. Now on your day of departure, you'll want to secure your home. So just do a walkthrough, make sure that every window is closed and locked. Make sure all of your doors are locked. And if you have any alarms, make sure that you've set that as well. Now I will leave all of the information about the LifeWell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down below this video. And I am going to leave that video about what to do in the 30 days before your cruise that you can watch next if you want to. But I would love to hear from you. Firstly, please let me know when is your cruise and let me know as well if there is anything else that should be added to this list. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now and happy cruising.